What is up everyone? Mainly Hockey Cards here. Hope you're having a great weekend. Earlier this week we had the CSG submission come back and it really didn't go as planned. Uh, I got some lower grades and I wasn't too happy about it. Uh, but my mint grading submission has come back. Uh, and if I'm looking at, at everything right, I did get some nice uh, grades. Uh, I did remove all of them from their sleeves. I haven't looked at the cards themselves, haven't looked at the grades, but nothing is silver foil, which means everything got at least a nine, which in my opinion is a big win for one of my first ever grading shipments. Now, this package was marked as delivered yesterday, uh, but it wasn't on my porch and I basically freaked out and suddenly it just arrived tonight. So crisis averted, uh, but really interested to see how this goes. Um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Uh, as you can see, I've got my one mint card, uh, my Adam Fox Young Guns 9.5. Bought that for only $40 uh, earlier in the fall. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. I think I had predicted like all nines to nine five. So, you know, if I'm looking at this right, I, you know, I, I did it right. Uh, but anyways, card number one, a 9.5 Colton Pareko Young Guns. Very happy with that. I sent in two of these. This one got a nine on the corner. So not, not a true 9.5. Our second one, yep, this is another Pareko. 9.5 and it's a true 9.5. All nine fives across the board. Super happy with that. One of those might go into my PC. I love these slabs, by the way. They're very nice. I like them. Uh, we've got the Linus Allmark Young Guns. 9.5. True 9.5. Very happy with that. He hasn't had the greatest season, but he's locked on for a few more years in Boston. So I would expect him to bounce back. Uh, this one's a little bit of a nostalgic card for me. It's, uh, I believe it's a 2006-2007 Crosby, just Heroes and Prospects base card, second year Crosby. 9.5. It's one of the first Crosby cards I ever got, and it's a true 9.5. Of course, Ovechkin is hotter now, but still a really nice you know, grade for that. I'm very happy with that. Next up, we've got my Alexi Lafreniere Opeachy Blue Rookie. Uh, he hasn't had the greatest year so far. I'm still holding on to all my Lafreniere. I think he's going to be a stud, you know, regardless of how long it takes. And 9.5, true 9.5. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. I was getting nervous. I was getting nervous because uh, I've been told, you know, CSG and MNT grade, you know, close to the same. Um, so, you know, of course the thought is maybe... Like if I got, you know, some eight, like an eight and some you know, 8.5s from CSG, these are all going to be, you know, 8.5s and eights, which would be brutal. Uh, this is one of my first long fist rookies. If you didn't know, I collect long fist. Um, it's a, just a beehive regular rookie. It's not the gold version. 9.5, little scuff on the case, it appears. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you guys can see that. There's a little bit of scuffing on the case. Overall, I'm not really too worried about, though. 9.5, long fist rookie, not a true 9, or sorry, not a true 9.5, but still very happy all the same. Uh, Matthew Joseph, young gun. Uh, I think he's going to be in Tampa Bay for quite a while. He's a good depth player. 9.5, pretty happy about that. 0.5 off from the true 9.5. Let's move these slabs over for just a sec. Uh, Vitaly Kratsov, um, what's going to happen with him in the Rangers? Uh, it's an exceptional futures from Synergy of 449, and it's our first nine. So, not the greatest there, not the worst. Um, let's see where we get surface. I must not have cleaned it off properly. Edges got a 10, Saren. Dang. That's okay. That's okay. That's not... That's not like one of the bigger hitters. Like most of these cards I paid, you know, three, four dollars for, five dollars. I think a couple for seven. 
Uh, I bought I bought a Troy Terry Future Watch Auto in a lot, and it came out to only three dollars fifty eight cents, and that got sent in with this. Uh, so I don't think I can go wrong. Anthony Stolarz, Ice Premier's rookie, nine point five, so close to a ten surface. We got a nine centering nine point five, but corners and edges both tens. Um, I like Stolarz. I like Stolarz. I think it's like one of those plays where. Maybe he gets on a hot streak. Maybe Gibson isn't doing too well. And suddenly Stolarz becomes, you know, like the James Reimer situation. Uh, back from like 2013, 2012. I don't know if you guys remember that. But James Reimer cards went crazy. Uh, I sent in, I think, seven Rupe Hints Young Guns. Obviously didn't do too well with CSG. But MNT, 9.5. Very happy about that. Very happy about that. Um, that was, you know, the Young Guns of Hints I bought for, I think, $6.41 each. Um, so if I'm getting nine fives, you know, I pay $12 for the grading, 13 whatever it is. Um, yeah, it's looking good. Another Rupe Hints Young Guns. 9.5, very nice. True 9.5, very happy with that. That's two uh, Hints Young Guns at 9.5. I predicted that two would get a nine. So we'll see if that holds true. My third Rupe Hence Young Guns. 9.5. Very happy with that. As you can probably tell, I'm getting happier and happier as this is going. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with how this is going. Hopefully it continues this way. Another Rupe Hence Young Guns. Another 9.5. Can't complain about that. That's four for four on nine fives. Another Rupe Hints Young Gun. Please give me a nine five. Another 9.5. I'm crushing it right now. Absolutely crushing this. Uh, so that's five for five on nine fives. Number six, you guessed it, is a nine five. Just nuts. That is awesome. Six for six. On Rupe Hence Young Guns. That is sweet. I think there's one more. I'm not sure where it went. Um, it might be later on in the stacks. 28 total cards. Uh, that's nice. Seismic Gold of Alex Nylander. 9.5. I did have like one concern about the surface. Uh, I think it was like a print line. Uh, but 9.5. He's actually been crushing it in the AHL for Wilkes-Barre since being traded to the Penguins organization. So hopefully he gets a call up pretty soon. Oh, God. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. You know, like this is going almost too well. Uh, Barrett Hayton, Young Guns. I think he's going to be the real deal for Arizona. That's a nine. Yeah, I had, I had a couple concerns about this one. Uh, mostly the edges. Uh, but... That's not the worst thing ever. That's not the worst thing ever. Uh, definitely not the worst thing ever. Uh, Vili Hainola. Very high on Vili Hainola. Um, young Guns. Give me a 9.5. 9.5. Bang. All right. That's nice. 0. 0.5 from a true 9.5. Edge's got a 9. I, I can understand that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Edges on the back don't look perfect, so that's understandable, but still very happy with a 9.5. We're going to start moving these a little bit. I don't know if I should save this one for the end because I, I mean, you guys can probably figure it out, but I did get a 10. I did get a 10. Um, I'm going to have to save it to the end. I got to save it to the end. Um, we've got a Nick Suzuki Opeachy Glossy Rookie. 9.5. Very nice. Very happy with that. Our seventh Rupe Hens Young Guns. Can we go seven for seven on 9.5 Hens Young Guns? Yes, we can. That's a huge win. Seven for seven on Rupe Hens 9.5 Young Guns. Super excited about that. Very nice. Ely Tolvenin. Young Guns, hoping for a 9.5. He looks better and better. He looks 9.5. Ely Tolvin and Young Guns. True 9.5 at that. Very happy about that. Very happy. 
Henrik Borgstrom, Young Guns. Um, I'm not sure, you know, how his career is going to turn out at this point. But I thought, you know, for the dollar I paid for the Young Gun, that's a 9.5. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Anthony Sorelli, Young Guns Canvas. Should get a good grade. Canvases usually grade pretty well. 9.5. Very happy with that. Yep. So 10 on the surface and then 9.5s around the, you know, around everything else. <laughs> uh, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Uh, next we have a Kyler or, yeah, Kyler Yamamoto Opichi rookie. Again, this is a card I paid 10 cents for. 10 cents, all right? 9.5. Oilers obviously suck right now, but I think he's still a big part of their future plans. Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy with that. If I can get a 9.5 on a 10 cent rookie of a solid player, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that deal. Got Christian Veselin in Young Guns. Who knows what's going to happen with this guy, similar to Borgstrom. Oh, another 9.5. True 9.5. Again, super, super delighted. I mean, I've only received one card lower than 9.5 so far. We've got three cards left. We've got a Victor Arvidsson Young Guns. 9.5. He hasn't had the year I was expecting him to have in L.A., but neither is really, like, L.A. Like, Jonathan Quick, resurgence, kind of weird. Calvin Peterson, not playing the same as last year. Drew Doughty, still an absolute animal. Probably one of the most underappreciated players in the league. Um, and then this card. So this is the Troy Terry Future Watch I paid $3.58 for. Um, obviously, I was just kind of biting my, fingers, <laughs> biting my fingernails while this, you know, was getting graded. Hoping that it comes back. I do know, looking at the back, that the auto got a 10. I mean, this could be a big card. This could be a really big card. That's, that's a big card. That is a big, big card. 9-5 Troy Terry Future Watch Autograph. Wow. Corners got a 9. Okay, that, you know, that's fair, but 9-5. Troy Terry, Future Watch Autograph. That is sick. That is sick. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that wasn't the highlight of the, you know, submission when I originally submitted. It was like something I just threw in thinking like, oh, maybe this has a chance at a good grade. And then he went on that torrid pace. Oh, that is just amazing. And then last but not least, <laughs> Vili Hainola, Ice Premier's rookie. That is a cracked ice label, which means this is a 10 graded card. Whew. God, I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I want to see the subs. Whew. 0.5 away from a perfect flawless 10. Corners, 10. Edges, 10. Centering, 10. Surface, 9.5. And I actually noted that I had problems with the surface when I submitted it. Wow. That is very nice. That is very nice. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty stoked about that, as you can see. Let's get that to focus. Yeah. That is nice. So, overall... Holy, I don't think I really could have done much better. Only two nines out of a 28 card submission. I thought I was getting a little bit crazy after the CSG order. You know, I, I felt like I should have gotten better grades. And sure enough, you know, like this submission, you know, 26 out of 28 cards got a 9.5 or higher. Just absolutely nuts. Anyways, this was well worth the wait. And I will be using mint in the future. These slabs are crystal clear, beautiful. They look like BGS slabs. And for the price, I mean, I think I only paid, even with all the shipping included, it was only 13 or 14 US per card to get graded. 
you know, which is unbeatable considering you get, you know, like the four subgrades as well. And yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just stoked. I'm stoked. I'll be using Ment again for sure. Um, wow. Uh, this is sick. You know, seven for seven on Rupe Hints Young Guns. Nine fives. Like, it just, it just can't get better. It can't get better than that. It really can't. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure did. This was awesome for me. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, super excited that this happened. Um, like, well worth the wait. Like, these, these cards are beautiful. The slabs are beautiful, crystal clear. Really can't say enough good things. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, consider subscribing. Uh, it's free and you can always change your mind later. Uh, we are approaching 800 subs, hopefully 1,000 sometime this uh, in the next three months or so. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. Peace.